Good morning. I thought this morning I would show you how to make these cute paper lace flowers um, that I use for these place cards. I think they're pretty cute anyway. So, you know, this is paper lace that you can get at the craft store. It's pretty easy to find. If you can't, you can take the Martha Stewart punches and you can make your own paper lace, but I would recommend that you use a lighter weight cardstock or like, you know, Jenny Bullen paper is lighter weight. Use something like that. So, all you're going to do with this, this is super easy, I don't even know why I'm making a video for it, <laughs> is you're going to fold one, the first tip of it over so that you have a base and you're going to turn the lace just a little bit. And on the little um, lines here, all you're going to do is fold. You're going to fold again. You're going to fold again. And you see there's half a flower. And then you're going to keep on folding on that little line and pinching the, pinching the edges in the middle as you fold so it won't fall apart. And you're going to fold the last one. And all you're going to do is Take your scissors and snip off the end. And then you're going to have your little paper flower. Now, I tried gluing these and stuff, and to be honest, they kind of fell apart. So the best thing I recommend for you to do is go ahead and staple your paper flower together. And see, it looks like a little doily, kind of. It's really cute. So, you, of course, you want to cover the, cover the staple up. So you're going to take a little bit of glue. You're going to put it on the back of a dark button. And of course, you know, they make this lace, though, in all colors, so you could use a light button if you were using a dark color lace. You're going to put it in the middle there, and you can sew it on if you want, but I, I like to do mine this way. And then you take a little ribbon. If I can get my glue to work. There we go. And you can put it in the middle, or you can sew it on. So basically, there's your little lace paper flower. So totally easy, right? So if you take your Martha Stewart punches, and which I, she has a couple of them. I'll have to look up the names and put them on here. You just would punch on one side or punch and punch on the other to make a strip, and it works pretty good. And you can make these nifty little place cards for it for Thanksgiving or whatever. Anyway, just a quick video tip today with a quick little flower. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.